Right, okay, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. In uh, a video that I haven't done for quite some time, uh, it's been a pretty full-on year, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to that conversation again sometime because uh, we've not had enough of these one-to-one -one on chats, which has been a real enjoyable part of the channel over the last couple of years, and like I said, I really need to get back to it. But today has, has forced my hand in terms of, uh, I've got no option but to switch that camera on and record one of these, uh, let's call it a debate. Uh, I'm not sure there is much of a debate to be had. However, there are still people out there, I'm sure, who will be... Um, well, will sit on either side of the fence, but I'm not sure. Get to the point, and Slow play. You've seen it in the title. I think anybody on social media will be well aware of what has gone on in the last few days. And One of the things... It, Bryson DeChambeau, whatever his name is... Uh, he took near three minutes to assess a putt. Uh, I don't know what it was, eight, ten foot putt. He then missed the putt. Um, in the meantime, his playing partners have stood, leaning on their putters, waiting to move on or finish off their putts. The crowd, the audience at home, uh, left literally wondering what is going on in the world in terms of golf. Anyone new to the game of golf who thinks, uh, I've heard this golf's quite interesting, I'll, uh, I'll just switch on the TV. Well, they were in for a shock. Three minutes later, if they're still around, I would imagine they've switched off by then and moved on to try a different sport because they realised that there's a, an issue within the game uh, called slow play that some people felt uh, and are unwilling to recognise. And uh, they've moved on and they're playing something different by now. And this is the point for me, is when are we going to do something? We, you know, and when I say we, I think that I think everybody has a part to play. I think even down to average golfers, we really need to make some effort to make sure this game moves on at a faster pace. Um, there have been rules uh, which have come into force. Ready golf. Well, I've not seen much ready golf going on and certainly not from uh, Bryson's point of view. Uh, we've had a time limit change on sort of how long you've got to find your ball, how long you've got to execute your shot. Not seen of that, any of that enforced. So what is it that's going to make this game change? What is it that's... And, I'm, and when I say what is it, it's a question to you. How do you see this r real issue, as far as I'm concerned, um, being eradicated from the game? I want your... I mean, first of all, I'm going to throw up a poll, whichever corner of these things appear, I'm not too sure. A very simple and straightforward question is do you think slow play is an issue within the game of golf? And that's going to be a, a simple yes or no. So let's see, let's get some numbers and I can issue those on uh, on other forms of uh, Twitter and whatever else we'll use to publish the feedback. So there's a vote first of all. But then, like I said, I'd be really interested in your opinions, uh, both what you see and so let's take what you see on the TV first of all. I don't care what sport you play, um, we as average golfers, average sports people, generally take a lead from what we see on the TV. And that generally stems from, when I say we, from a younger audience is generally influenced by what it sees on television. I went to watch uh, my nephew play football uh, a couple of weeks back and all of a sudden everybody's got their arms wrapped around each other, grabbing each other when there's a corner being taken, almost wrestling people to the ground. Uh, something which I think is a ridiculous uh, thing that's gone on in football over the last few years. But again, to see nine-year-olds now doing it, it made me laugh. But it also, I just think, what in earth is going on in the game? And how do we let these things go from um, being something that is quite extreme in the game and, and rarely seen, and then it becomes the norm? And I think with slow play, slow play is the norm, there's no doubt about it, but we're prepared to sort of... There's a lot of commentators. I've seen some people out there on Twitter suggesting there isn't a problem. Um, I don't know. That's just an unwillingness to back down and recognise that uh, those people were wrong and there is a serious issue with slow play. But then I've also seen a, a lot of people commenting, particularly about the Bryson situation. Um, and, and I'm talking about people who are well respected within the game of golf. And, uh, and and from other aspects of life, again, Dan Walker's just gone up there, BBC presenter, a keen golfer. But again, a lot of people that, you know, are looking at this and colleagues of Bryson's and obviously we had the, uh, there's been comments from Eddie Pepperell, there's been 
uh, issues with Brooks Kopka um, speaking with Bryson, I think, in his caddy or whoever else, I don't know. But this is sort of, I think, been the tip of the iceberg in terms of people have now got to a point where they've seen that situation go on with near three minutes over a putt and then he, he walks out a 70-yard uh, chip shot again, takes God knows how long to play that as well. Now, Bryson is, in these instances, is the extreme. But the point is this, we've got laws in place in terms of time, lim time limits that play these shots. What is the situation and why can we not enforce these rules? I just, I, I fail to understand how this can't be a simple rule that is enforced. And it's got to be with penalty shots, which is what it's supposed to be. Um, the JB Home situation is, again, you know, the, these people, uh, Kevin Nah, these are people that are well known for taking far too long to play this game of golf. But I think overall, like I said, in general terms, this idea that, oh, they're playing for their living and they're playing for the card and they're playing for this and they're playing for the other and it's different in this situation or different from that situation. No, it's not. A rule is a rule. You don't apply a rule in the first minute of a game and then not apply it in the 90th minute of a game. I'm referring to football again. A rule is a rule and it doesn't matter when it happens. It doesn't matter whether it's in the Champions League Cup final or whether it's in a, a league game in Division 3 or whatever they call it nowadays. A rule is a rule. So there, there shouldn't be anything to debate. There shouldn't be any... Um, any, any the, the Common sense doesn't need to apply in this situation. We don't need to say that oh because this was going on and that was going on we allowed them another minute no that's not the rules is it the rules have been set so just implement and enforce the rules uh, i've seen another tweet from uh, the pga saying that after all this kind of uh, furor that kicked off over this um, situation with uh, i was going to say poor old bryson but he's definitely bore the brunt of this situation don't get me wrong but this has got, got to be stopped and i hope that this is the, the thing that does it um the PGA jumped on the back and sort of said, you know, we're going to look at the, our rules and I can't remember the exact quote and how they're going to possibly enforce it. But I mean, you know, why, why does it need to get to this? Why does it need to get to a situation? On, on a personal level, and again, I ask a question out to you as an audience, I no longer play in um, club competitions at my golf club. I play in, I'll play in a minimal amount. I'll do enough to maintain my handicap and card and all the rest of it. Um, but I literally don't play in competition anymore. And the main reason I don't play, and the, the, the one reason I don't play, is because it takes too long. It takes too long. I don't have that time. I can't, I can't give five hours to a game of golf on a Saturday. And, la and that's what you're looking at. At my golf club on a Saturday, if you put your name down in the middle of the comp, you will be lucky if you complete that round within five hours. And until that stops, it drives me away from the game if somebody who's heavily involved in it, but on a, I stay away from it. I play my own golf in and around the times that suit me. And okay, that's fine, but it means that from a competitive nature, I stay away from those competitions. I cannot understand how this has been let to go on to the level it has. I've done these videos. I've been doing uh, this kind of YouTube thing for three years, I think now. I, I don't know how many videos I've done in relation to slow play. Nothing has changed in that whole period that I've been doing uh, sort of YouTube. And it just baffles me. It baffles me the way I see still people saying that there's not an issue with slow play and start to throw up different examples of why this was wrong. Uh, I like to play devil's advocate, as they say. Now, that's not, you know, there's, there's no place for devil's advocate, is there? This is a rule. And a rule needs to be implicated. I, I don't. I just don't understand why we cannot, if a rule exists, implement it, was the right word I should have used. Implement the rule. In every other sport, it seems very, very straightforward enough to implement a rule. This is not a difficult one. You get X amount of time on the clock. If there is a rules referee with every game, then I don't know why they need a warning. But if we're going to give warnings, then absolutely fine, give them a warning. On the second time that it happens, then penalise them with penalties and shot penalties. And we all know that within a very short space of time, if that was to be the case, this 
will be, I don't see it's going to eradicate it in one foul swoop, but I think it would have a major impact in getting rid of it. The issue is quite simple. People know that they're going to get away with it. People know that this isn't going to be, they're not going to be punished right now. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to be for, forever going around in circles. As you can tell, I'm, uh, it's a bugbear of mine. It's a huge bugbear of mine. I, it's a big bugbear of mine that people also have the suggestion that it isn't a problem within the game because it is. Um, and I say it is, let's see what the result of the vote is first of all. As I said, how many of you people um, think that it is a problem? Let's see the results of that. I've got on for 11 minutes and so many seconds, at least that's when we started the audio recording. Uh, so, so a bit, bit of a 10 minute rant. I don't know if there's anything else that I've sort of, that, I, that I've not put into the, the context in some way as to why um, there, there may be other contributing factors. But I don't see that there are. I see this, and I think that is the problem. There are no more contributing factors. The problem is, this is a very straightforward issue. We have a rule in place to address that issue, and it's about implementing that rule. And, and I want to know, and then going back to the sort of Saturday comps where we, as average golfers, need to somehow um, understand to, be, to, to implement ready golf, to be prepared to get a shift on, to realise that this game needs to move on at a pace, and to realise for me that the longer this goes on, to me, it is the biggest issue, one of the biggest issues, at least, as to why younger people with families can't commit to playing this game of golf. They can't get involved because it just takes too damn long. And until we, slow play is an issue, and it's not the only issue, don't get me wrong, that, and we need, to me, a shortened version of this game, and we might have half a chance of getting some younger people involved. But let's just do one thing and sort out slow play, eradicate it once and for all, and let's not see it on the television where we watch professionals and we take a lead from what these professionals do. Let's see it eradicated there and start implementing some rules. Anyway, I'm glad to have got back in front of a camera and just had this one-on-one -on -one chat because I've missed it. Um, I hope to be doing more and like I said I'll explain a lot about what has gone on in the last six months and why we haven't had more of these chats very very soon um, and hopefully get to be doing them on a more frequent basis for the time being thank you for watching thank you for listening to my rant uh, comments down below I love your feedback because like I said to me I like to gauge opinion and maybe I am just an isolated miserable fool who uh, has got this completely wrong so please comments down below and uh I'll do my best to communicate back with you. Thank you for watching. See you soon.